Tanya Roberts, Bond girl and that 70s show star, dies at 65, she also starred in the fifth and final season of ABC's Charlie's Angels and appeared in the cult films The Beastmaster Body Slam and Sheena. Queen of the Jungle. Tanya Roberts, the actress best known for playing a Bond girl in A View to a Kill and Midge Pinciotti on that 70s show, has died. She was 65. The actress collapsed while out walking her dogs on December 24 and was admitted to Cedar Sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. She died on Sunday, her longtime friend and rep Mike Pingel told The Hollywood Reporter. It was not COVID-19 related, no cause of death has been given, but Roberts was not ill in the days leading up to her death. I'm devastated. She was brilliant and beautiful, and I feel like a light has been taken away. To say she was an angel would be at the top of the list. She was the sweetest person you'd ever meet and had a huge heart. She loved her fans, and I don't think she realized how much she meant to them," Pingel told THR. Born Victoria Lee Blum, Roberts had a career modeling and appearing in television adverts before turning to film acting in 1975, with the horror flick Forced Entry. She had a number of roles in films that would later have a cult following, including the 1977 comedy Racket and the 1982 fantasy epic The Beastmaster. She was also the lead in Columbia Pictures' 1984 adventure movie Sheena. Queen of the Jungle, a female version of the Tarzan story that despite its reported $25 million budget, was a huge flop at the box office, though it went on to gain cult status. Robert's most notable major film role was in the 1985 Bond film A View to a Kill. The film, which was to be Roger Moore's last outing as 007, saw her play Stacey Sutton, an American geologist who becomes a target of villain Max Zorin played by Christopher Walken. Despite the global media attention that follows every Bond release, her movie career didn't take off as she had hoped, and in interviews in recent years, Roberts has discussed the so-called curse of being a Bond girl before she accepted the role. I sort of felt like every girl who'd ever been a Bond girl had seen their career go nowhere, so I was a little cautious, Roberts told the Daily Mail in 2015. I remember I said to my agent, no one ever works after they get a Bond movie, and they said to me, are you kidding? Glenn Close would do it if she could, she added. After A View to a Kill, her other notable film credits were the Roddy Piper-led comedy Body Slam in 1987 and the 1990 erotic thriller Night Eyes.